Okay. So it was two weeks before my birthday, and I'm sitting in my room thinking of what I wanted as a gift. Um, and this wasn't going to be no ordinary gift because I was turning seven. And, you know, turning seven is a really big deal for me because seven is basically ten. Ten's basically a teenager. <laughs> Teenager's basically an adult. So, you know, like adults do, I wanted to get that one expensive present that was going to last me a long time. Not like a toy set that I would play with for two months and then next thing you know, it's collecting dust in my closet. Um, so I go up to my parents and I'm like, hey, could we go to Toys R Us? And they look at me and they're like, yeah, sure. So the next day we go to Toys R Us and, you know, they're showing me all these toys. There's like these jigsaw puzzles, action figures and um, like everything. And nothing was really catching my eye. So, you know, I kind of wandered away. And when I wandered away, I found myself in the bike aisle. And it was just like immediate. I look up at least 20, 30 feet and I see the beautiful Bumblebee yellow Hummer bike with matte black tire seat and handlebars. <laughs> Um, and it was like those scenes in the movies where it's like you in that one thing in a dark room and a light shining on it, you know, kind of like right now. Um, and like my feet were gravitating towards it, but I, my legs weren't moving. And there was even like this angelic music in the background. Like all I heard was, ah. and I knew I was like, that's the bike that I want. Like I'm thinking of back home, all the hand-me-down bikes I have because I'm the youngest of three. So I've had my sister's bike. I've had my brother's bike. I've even had my dad's bike, which is like falling to bits and pieces at this point. Um, so I run straight to my parents and I'm like, hey, 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 like this is the bike that I want. And I show them, I'm like pointing straight up. And then they're looking up, looking at me, looking at each other, look back up. And they're like, yeah, we'll think about it. And I was like, I'm just telling them like, this has to be it. Even though I knew it was expensive because it was on the high, high shelf. And like, it was one of those bikes you had to like contact the front desk for and like, <laughs> They bring out like this huge machine and like it brings it down and that's just for you to look at it, not even to decide if you're buying it or not. So um, yeah, they're like, sure, we'll think about it. Um, and I go home and finally my birthday comes. And on my birthday, unfortunately, um, it was on a Monday. Uh, so I had to go to school. So I went to school, came back home and we're doing all the normal birthday things. Like they're singing happy birthday. Like I'm opening gifts from my brother and my sister. And then uh, we eat dinner. And then my dad finally comes up to me and he's like, hey, we have a surprise for you. And I'm like, a surprise? For me? <laughs> like, what's the occasion? Um, and, you know, he, he nods off my sarcasm and he's like, he brings me to the backyard. And the funny thing about our backyard is we have this, like, really heavy metal door and it has, like, five locks on it. So he's, like, unlocking the top lock and the middle lock and the other middle lock. And then he finally swings the huge door open and there it is the beautiful bumblebee yellow Hummer bike with matte black tire seat and handlebars. And I was in complete awe. Like I completely bypassed my sister and my brother and like I'm going straight to the bike. I'm like adjusting the seat for when I was gonna ride it. I was touching the tires, making sure there's enough air, adjusting the gears and I was just, you know, feeling all over the frame. <laughs> and I literally picked up the bike and I was about to leave. And my dad looks at me, he's like, where are you going? And I'm like, I'm going to bike ride. <laughs> you see, bike me leaving. Um, and he's like, no, it's like 8 p.m., you're seven years old, not gonna happen. And, you know, I was crushed, but of course I could wait, um, and I did wait. So the next day is Tuesday, the day after that's Wednesday and Thursday. And each single day, I'm like opening the curtains to our backyard and I'm looking at that bike and I'm like, oh, coming Friday, me and you are gonna have a really good experience. <laughs> Like, we're gonna go everywhere. I was planning on like going on the highway. I was gonna go to Central Park. I was gonna, you know, do everything. And the reason I kind of thought about that was because in my neighborhood, Washington Heights, um, it's really common for a lot of kids to bike around in like a group and they would do wheelies and all kinds of tricks. And I wanted to be one of those kids. I thought that was so cool. But of course I was seven and I definitely didn't know how to do any wheelies. <laughs> um, but that's why I wanted to ride the bike so much. And you know, Friday finally came and I had to go to school, but I came home. And I came home like a man on a mission. And I threw my bags down and I went straight to the backyard. Top lock, middle lock, other middle lock, swing the door open. And when I swing the door open, it wasn't there. And I was really confused. I was like, well, what's going on? <laughs> like, what kind of joke is this? Uh, and I look around for a little bit and then I go to my dad and I'm like, so where's the bike? Um, and he's like, it should be out there. It's been there all week. And when he said that, I was like, it's not there right now. Like, we should go look for it. And, you know, my mom and dad are really well known in the neighborhood. So they asked around and they talked to people. And um, 
they were seeing if like anybody knew or had seen the bike and we even like hop in our car and we're driving around for like two hours and like I'm just like putting my face on the window and I'm like oh it's purple oh wait that my bike's not purple <laughs> um like anything that I saw was remotely yellow I thought it was mine and I was like let's get out the car and get it but like I knew it wasn't that um so you know two weeks pass and it was really starting to settle that like my bike was going to be gone forever and it it hurt me but it really brought me back to a time when my dad had first teach uh, had first taught first taught me how to ride a bike. I was around four or five years old, and he took me to the park on a summer uh, on a summer evening. And like uh, I'm using a hand-me-down bike, of course, <laughs> and uh, I'm biking, um, and he's holding the back seat like you know like parents do. And he was pushing me along for a little bit, and then he finally decides to let go. Of course, I didn't notice, um, and I'm pedaling for a little bit. And then he says, like, from a, from a distance, he's like, you're doing it. Like, this is you. Like, you're doing it by yourself. And I look down, I'm like, oh, this is so much better than walking. <laughs> like, I'm going so fast. And then, you know, I proceed to, like, face plant and everything, like, cuts on my knees and stuff. And my dad's really big on metaphors, so he's like, you know what just happened? You just fell. And life is going to do that to you a lot. So no matter how many times life knocks you down, you got to just get right back up. And that's what I did. I was like, okay, bike for a little bit more and I fell again. <laughs> but I decided to take that lesson into real life. Um, the, losing the bike was a moment in which life was knocking me down, and I decided to get right back up. Uh, a couple days later, I called up a couple of my friends, grabbed one of my hand-me-down bikes, and we went bike riding together. Uh, we went throughout the city. I didn't pop any wheelies because I still don't have that kind of skill. Um, and it was really fun. And fast forward to about two years ago, I actually ended up getting my own bike which my dad bought me. It's not yellow, it's black, um, it's electric, and it does the job. And I still fall off that bike, but I get right back up. Thank you.